All right, welcome to Real Cultures. Your boy, Real Culture. It's your boy JF, the film guy. Gloria Ashley. And we're here to give our unprofessional opinion about this next movie. Captain Marvel. This movie is heavily spoiled, so we might say some things, but if you haven't seen it, it came out in March. Or, yeah. So. All right, so the movie starts off with mayhem. Uh, it's like an explosion, a fight, some crash, and then our superhero wakes up, Carol Danvers, but right now her name is known as Veers. So she wakes up, and then she goes, finds her mentor, which is played by Jude Law. Uh, his name is Jan Rog, and uh, <laughs> pretty much, you know, it's, it's, it's superhero movie time now. So, like, they're kind of showing him how he mentors her and whatnot, and then they take this mission and they go fight some bad guys. Mm -hmm. So then uh, we get our little first taste of um, Veers, is her name right now, as she's fighting these aliens and they're going through her brain and stuff. I think that part was really cool when it was going through her brain. Oh, yeah, she gets like captured and they're, yeah. like, they're like basically like rewinding and like playing like uh, through that was her kind of cool. brain. So we kind of get to see flashes of like her life and uh, stuff. But she doesn't remember this life. So it's kind of like they know it's in her head, but she don't know what's yeah. going on. So anyway, she ends up breaking free and she ends up like kicking their butts. Like she just barefoot. beats them up barefoot, hands in some big machines or something. And um, so, um, yeah, then she gets away and then she lands on Earth. Like, she lands like in a blockbuster. That was like a throwback movie. Oh, yeah, because she's basically, like, they're like in the 90s. 90, yeah. Like 95. So you know, she builds some kind of communication out of some parts at Radio Shack. But like at a, a what do you call those things? A the, payphone. Yeah, a payphone. <laughs> and then, um. And Shell gets involved somehow. Oh, Samuel Jackson. It wasn't him, was it? Yeah, Nick Fury comes. Oh, okay. Nick Fury and, um. Uh, Colson, Asian Colson. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah. So they're like young. Like, whatever Marvel does to make people look young, they're doing a good job. Because <laughs> these dudes look young. Um, then, um... But movie, she, like, trusts no one. So no. she's like, she sees the alien, she sees the police and chill. She's, like, just trying to get away. Yeah, because the bad guys, uh, they can turn into humans. Like, yeah, so she's like, like, I don't know who so you she are. She don't know who nobody is. So pretty much movie starts so it's like a train scene where she fights the old lady i know you guys seen that in the credits um and it's like a little nod to stanley on there yeah, he's reading the script mall rats uh yeah. i guess he was going on the way to his audition for that scene that was kind of cool um somehow some way samuel jackson gets involved with uh carol danvers and then they become a team and they end up doing their detective work and end up coming up up against um, what's her name? Her friend, <laughs> something Rambo, Monica Rambo. Rambo. Okay. Her friend, her co-pilot. Okay. Yeah. So then uh, they Rambo. end up finding her ramp, her farm. And she was like her kid and stuff. Yeah, all that. They're all like, oh my god, are you were dead? Yeah, family reunion. How um, they find her? They have a family reunion. She explains to them that she can. Oh, look. but then that's when those. The um, face changers come down. They realize, like, yeah. we aren't the bad guys Yeah, here. they realize that. She, she gets her memory back at that point, find out that the people she was working with, which is the Cree, uh, the main one played by Jude Law. And, yeah, she, um, they're the actual bad guys because they're working for Ronan and the Destroyer. If you know him from the first Guardians of the Galaxy, he's, like, their boss. Yeah. So, like, they're on the same team. But she didn't know she was working for them. So I like that tie-in. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So then they end up going to space because they got to try to find this guy's family, the the shape shifters, the shape changers, shape, yeah. shape changers, whatever. So then they go to space. They find a whole colony of these people because the Kree was trying to destroy them because they didn't want to get with the program, yeah. I might say. So then Carol did what she did in the game. She just becomes powerful. <laughs> like, she just becomes powerful. Okay. Like, but um, yeah, so they follow the Tesseract, and then it's like this cat. That was a funny scene, the flirting. It's like, oh yeah. It's just, when he was like, it's so nice. And Samuel Jackson like loved this cat, and yeah. like, which is how we find out how he loses his eye, which is stupid. That was corny. I didn't like that. It's like, do you have to tie up everything? Like, why he couldn't already have a lost eye? Like, why? Like, it just was something we just never knew. Yeah, like, like keep that. Nobody so I didn't like that. The, the cat scratched. His and then eye where did up. the flirting go in all the other Marvel movies? You've never seen the flirting again. Ever. Yeah, the flirting just disappeared. Like he's just gone. Like anyway. 
like I said, Carol becomes powerful. She's like Superman. Like, you can't do anything to her. Like, it, I think she's even more powerful than Superman because it's like, I don't think Kryptonite can stop her. Like, what can stop Captain Marvel? Like, nothing. Like, and it was like accidental how she got her powers. Like, it was like Jula just trying to get the box from her mm -hmm. and the power just went on. That's why he took her. Yeah. She had the power. She, had she had just power. didn't know. Yeah, she had the power. She's just powerful. I hate characters like that. That's so powerful. Like, there's nothing you can do to them. Like, and then it's like, it's even whack when they're fighting and you kind of get the best of them a little bit. But you know, like. That's why Superman's always boring. Yeah. Like, but that's what fail. makes Captain Marvel kind of ass. It, it was a good movie. It's, it's hard to say any, like, Avenger, like, Marvel movie isn't good. We're going to give you guys our list of Marvel movies after Spider Man comes out. And then, uh. We're going to break it down. This is not the bottom by any means necessary. I feel like it could have came after Endgame. Like, we didn't need it to come out before Endgame. Like, we didn't need our bio story after Endgame. Yeah, because I felt like the way they introduced her in Endgame, it would have been cool to be like, ooh, who's who that? that? Mm -hmm. And then give her a movie, and it's like, ooh. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That makes sense. It's kind of like how they did Black Panther in Civil War. Yeah, like how he came out, you're like, oh, snap. I got to see that movie. Yeah, like, yeah, who's yeah. that? And then, yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That makes sense. So, um. Okay. Yeah, but it's definitely not the bottom of Marvel movies. Like it's, it, was it, was, it was cool. It was, it was a cool movie. I'll watch it again when I yeah, watch all Marvel movies. Yeah, I movies. just watched it yesterday. So, you know. Once I revenge all 26 of us. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, Captain Marvel's a good movie. It's a good time. And uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. If you're into Marvel movies. If you're not into Marvel yeah, movies. Yeah, I wouldn't watch it. Like, if you are a Marvel head and you're like, yeah. I have to see all of them. Then, then yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, watch it. But if you don't really care about Marvel and... I mean, you just saw Black Panther. Like, who, who hasn't seen? Like, who hasn't no, seen? it's literally a lot of people that only seen Black Panther. <laughs> don't care about no other Marvel movie. They're like, no, nah, I'm good. That's different. <laughs> so yeah, you, it was a good overall oh, movie. Oh man, but uh, yeah. So um, good movie. So if you like this review, follow both of us. At our personal Instagram, Instagram handles and at the real culture Instagram handle right and there subscribe and subscribe and every subscription we get your child gets an A in school bam check out our other videos they might be here there 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 but check them out click them and please let us know if there's any movies that you want us to review and give our opinions about let us know in the comments below or just leave a nice comment compliments about us or a mean comment we'll take it yeah we got thick skin thick thick all right all right bye